pretty much my life like <laughs> it's pretty much all I it's the only thing I kind of really kind of really feel passionate about it's like nothing else it's harnessing the awesome power of nature so you've got wind waves gravity and converting it into motion and speed and it's just a joyful freedom I couldn't picture myself being in a city and not be able to escape and go out and relax in the water. I think that would sort of ruin me. I'm lucky because I know how to surf. There's always different every time you go in. So when I started surfing I was about 10 years old. My dad booked me a surf lesson at the local surf school. I caught my first wave and just wanted to go again and again. And then here I am now, like 10 years later. It's one of those things like really hard to explain. You only know it if you do it, but it's like the best feeling. <laughs> my instructors, when I had my lessons for like kind of like my idols, I was like, oh, it's the best thing ever. It's your job to teach people and then as soon as I got into it, it's just like it's like best job. Some of the time like you just do it without even getting paid. Like some of the lessons I enjoy so much. Like see the kids get so much out of it that it's like you do it for free. I started windsurfing when I was 16. Uh, totally hooked from the moment I stood on the border that I'd not had any lessons and I was being blown downwind, didn't understand why I couldn't sail upwind but the sensation of moving, just using the sail to move across the water for me that was just such an amazing feeling. I thought okay I want to I pursue this so saved up, bought my own board, started going out in stronger winds and each new manoeuvre became a challenge. I wanted to learn more, I wanted to master strong winds, water starts and then really become one with my equipment. It's very hard to explain until you've done it, but it's, it's sheer happiness because you're not using any kind of mechanical interventions to give you this speed. And the sensation of just using a slight shift in body weight to weight the board causes it to carve round and all of that is fed straight, straight back into your body. You can feel the little waves, you can feel every nuance of wind. It's just like conversing with nature. You go know, with you and the dogs, that's just nice and relaxing. It's good for you. I've been going up with it. I've been water since I was like six weeks or something, so I just become used to it. I just don't, I don't want to get off of it, I just like it. So when I take out a child and they experience windsurfing for this first time, they don't want to stop. They just want their lesson to go on and on and on. And everyone's happy. They come in happy, relaxed, and having experienced something amazing. And a lot of people then go on to take up the sport. It's 
surf school, we have a surf club. So we have like 30 kids that come every week, and they surf every week, and they're all friends. They get on really well. You see them kind of grow up and like make new friends through the surf school. It's the same even out of the surf school. Like half of my friends I've met just out in the water. We're all very close. We learned kite surfing together. We learned surfboarding together. But our main sport is still windsurfing. Um, there is nothing to beat windsurfing. Some of my friends I've made through surfing I'll only see in the kind of surfing environment. Surfers are a lot different to skateboarders more rough around the edges but a lot of my friends from surfing are kind of a bit more humble and I like get along with them a bit better. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't see other people doing it around around Salcombe. Like everywhere you go there's always paddleboard in the middle of summer. I think that's just something they do. There's no way you've got to surf because there's usually a rip. First of all, you have to find the way you want to paddle. And so you have to turn around, start paddling, uh, and when the wave's uh, like pushing you forward, that's when you have to stand up. I like it when you take the drop, when you're starting to paddle and the wave actually comes and you drop down the wave. So, whoosh. The night before, I'll check the forecast and see where I'm going to go, what time I'm going to go, with like the tide and the wind and everything. Sometimes I wake up when it's dark, completely dark, kind of force myself out of bed, like run down the stairs, grab like some breakfast, grab my board, wetsuit, just throw them in the car, drive down to the beach as fast as you can. Then, like the best thing is like when you get down to the beach and it's like just starting to get light and you see like the sun coming up and you just see like sometimes you just get like perfect little waves or like the perfect surf and like you're the first one when you get down to the earliest and you're the first one that's kind of that's, that's the best feeling you just go in the water and it's just everything's like natural and just you're happy you know get like different wetsuits for different weather so when it gets really cold I've got a wetsuit like a, it's got a built-in kind of balaclava and you just wrap up warm sometimes two wetsuits. I um, keep moving I usually talk that's what helps me and I just play around. People don't understand, they don't appreciate what it's like to be out there. They think that that's cold, nasty, unpleasant environment. You don't notice any of that. People say to me when I'm rigging up, you're mad, you're mad to go out in that. How can you? It's my natural element out there. It's, for me, it's not a challenge, it's not dangerous. People don't understand that until they've done that, until they've been there themselves. makes me do it. I do find it relaxing, yeah, yeah. It sort of clears your mind a bit, yeah. Everything. It's a way of alleviating my problems. Um, it also gives you time to think. I think problems through and I can, I can make sense of things when I'm windsurfing. It's definitely an, ex an escape, like it's, it's just like nothing you've ever done before. Kind of like what I do when I need to get away from everything. Say if like anything is going bad in, like, in my life or I'm like down about anything, you just get in the water and you just instantly just forget, forget about everything going wrong. And just, just like you out there with the water, just kind of just doing what you love to do, just catching the waves. <laughs> <laughs>